Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm excited to share that above cloud developer trial edition, the version 2022 is now available on Docker. So in this tutorial, I will show you the step by step installation process. So first of all, you have to check some features on the windows. So that is the reason you need to go to the control panel from that control panel you have to select the program and features and click on the turn windows feature on off so from here uh, you have to install uh, actually you have to enable some feature this feature actually is already um, enabled in my laptop so i am not doing again because after that it will uh, ask for the restart and i don't want to do this right now but you can check that what you need to enable so first of all that is the hyper v that is one of that and another thing is that um, this virtual missing platform and that windows hyper vision platforms and the last one is that windows subsystem for linux so that is the prerequisite you have to make sure that you already uh configure this or you enable this on your laptop after that you have to just click ok and it will ask for the restart and you have to do the restart your laptop okay so this is the first part and second part is that uh in the powershell you have some configurations so you have to you have to go to the powershell open in the this administration mode so now here you have to execute on command so this is the command i will also put that command in the description so that it will be easy for you after that uh, just uh, press enter and you can see the operation completed successfully but you have to make sure that it's not the windows command it's the windows powershell and i open as administrator administration administrator otherwise you will get uh, some issues so that's the uh, one thing and other thing is that you have to download that wsl so what you have to do you have to go to the link this is the link so from here it's already uh, written the step-by-step -step process so from here first you have to download that version so I'm now downloading on my local laptop so now it's already downloaded so from here i have to just open it double click and it will ask for the installation so click next uh, it will take a little time okay it's already done just finish so this part is done but uh, now what you have to do uh, you have to open your PowerShell again so here it's already there so you can see that um, you need to make this version version 2 as a default so from here you can just copy or you can just copy from here and after that just paste here and enter so this operation completed uh, successfully so, but you have to make sure that you are using the windows powershell and user is the administrator administrator okay uh, so this part uh, is completed now you have to download and install the docker so for the docker uh, this is the so from here that is the url for installation docker 
so from here i am installation i am downloading the docker desktop for windows so this is the it will take a little bit time so let it be downloaded so download has been completed uh, so i am now double click on that it will take some time to installation actually installation process is quite easy so let it start so now uh, it's is checking that uh, what we already did the WSL uh, we already configured so if you don't do this um, here you will get uh, some issues so okay the unpacking files it's uh, took a little bit time but it will install So now is installation completed and installation is um, successful. So I just close this. So now your Docker is ready. So if I go to that Docker, you can see like I have to go to the Docker. So here. It will it's actually appearing so now actually you have so many people actually um, I noticed that people what they do they just install and after that they start the these uh, above uh, trial edition so basically you have to open it first and you have to log in um, otherwise you will get uh, some issues so finish is the first time so actually that is the reason it's a little bit slow but now skip survey so you can see that i'm already uh, logging so you have to use your uh, own uh, i mean that you have to register and after that you can uh, log in with your um, login id okay so now uh, it's it's it stop it's it's okay so now what we have to do let's go to the uh, again uh, windows powershell so here that so now actually we have to download that uh, developer tool so from here you can see um, that is the uh, tag and newest is oldest so many images is there that is the above trial so I'm just click here it's we go back I have to copy this copy it and if I go there need to press I think everything will be fine press enter okay so uh, the docker is not requires the name of the okay so the term docker is not recognized okay so in this case so let me open the docker again so here it's opening so now you can see that um, image container so now actually it's look like that it is um, it is running so if I open that PowerShell so open as an administrator so copy the command and paste it here so 
so yeah now it is um, working and now actually it's downloading the full above trial version so um, yeah you have to make sure that uh, this is also running properly actually otherwise uh, it's, it's some issues you don't need any restart or anything so let it be completed and after after that i will show you the next step so now you can see that it is already downloaded so now if i go to the docker um, we should see the container and image and you can see that is the actually that the size and everything is an above trial uh, 2022 so it's probed that that is the latest it is not the old version so now actually what we have to do we have to start and if i go there so here if i paste this okay so basically here in that command that is the above platform trial 1909 that is the old command so it is the above trial if i check this so it should be uh above trial it's no need 1909 so we have to just remove this basically this will come based on this name okay so execute so okay the latest also is not there so trial let me where is the latest uh, okay so here docker login so okay latest locally so if i check the name so here so here i can see that is the um, then trial then the tag name so in here the tag name is above trial 2022 so i have to add this accordingly trial and here trial then it should be evap trial underscore two zero twenty two try again uh about trial let me copy and so basically they changed the full name here because i'm trying with that uh, above platform trial but actually name is that above cloud developer so that is the reason it's showing error so let me fix this so now let me correct so i just um correct i mean that um i use in the text file and just update it with the latest name so it's look like it's good and now you can see that uh it's starting so let it start so you can see that actually it's starting without any issues but uh you here you can see like there are some port is being used but uh this 48443 is this port is being used for the cloud connector so if your cloud connector is already open then you have to stop so if i go to the services here i can see that is like sap sap cloud connector you can see actually that is the 
currently it's not running so that's the reason that this port is free so if you find any issues like it's not running that uh, is uh, 99 cases that uh, your cloud connection is running so that's the reason it cannot start so what you have to do you have to manually come here and you have to stop and once it is running and after that you can start again so um there's the there's the thing so let it be started so now you can see that um, database already started and application server started so now it's um starting some process so let it be started <coughs> 